We had only 320 government services a year ago. Today we have 13,000 and we are well on course in making sure that by the end of this year or shortly thereafter, all government services will be available online. Already, um, the digital ID, which has been a big problem to us for a very long time, is now on a testing mode for the next two months. I have been assured by all the stakeholders, led by the ministries concerned, that by December, we will be able to launch digital ID. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If this is your first time, my name is Mamre, and you are very, very welcome. My returning subscribers and those who are passing by, you are very welcome. The video you are watching is between Adan Sogan Kopi area. It's beautiful, and I want to share with my family. Maybe some of you from Adan, I said Adan from Ghana may know this area and will be missing it. And if this is your first time seeing something like this, you are not Ghanaian and you want to come to Ghana, maybe consider visiting this area or you might pass by. Enough of that. That's not the reason why I'm doing this video. I'm doing this video because of what you heard from Mr. Ruto. ID that they want to issue. This ID issue has been there for maybe three or more years. They were going back and from by Mr. Roto want to nail it, finish it, and put it under his belt that, yes, he has done it, which is good. Every country needs identification. It makes life very easy for us all. But Mr. Roto is taking this identification ID to the next level, to the next level that is calling for concern. To me, it's calling for concern. And that's why I want to share it with you, my family, because down the comment section, we all learn a lot. If you are a Kenya, what do you think about what is going on now? <clears throat> sorry, this is why I'm not doing video nowadays. <coughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, what do you think about this identification? It is good. But during the uh, climate change summit in Nairobi, Mr. Roto invited Bill Gates on a, a Zoom. And he came, he spoke about two minutes. And at the back of my mind, I was asking myself, what is Bill Gates doing with climate change? Well, we know he has money. We know he wants to save the world. We know he wants to reduce population, and Africa per se, he says we are overpopulated. Even though our grandpa said we are not overpopulated, Uganda president said we are not overpopulated, we should give birth to more. Bill Gates and the rest, some of them have passed away now, you know them. They all said Africa is overpopulated, and that's why we are poor, and this and that. So, he is saving Africa by injecting them so they will not be given more birth and, you know, he will save Africa from poverty. So I thought, what is he doing there? Two minutes video, I didn't get anything serious to share. Fine. But then when I, I came across this video about the ID and his name pop out, I said, no, let me share it. Maybe I'm getting crazy. Maybe I'm overthinking, as I always do. Somebody should put me right. Is it right to be putting chips in babies as they are born, as identification, so that chip will follow them until they get a job and they marry and all? Is it good? But because in the UK, we get NI. When you are 16, they send you NI. My son receiving his and I no longer go, it means he can work. We get birth certificate, paper one, you pay for it, fine. But what Mr. Roto is explaining is you don't need to carry any paper or card with you. The chip is in your finger, you use fingerprint for everything. I said, no, this is too far. 
you need to crawl before you walk because you know we see it from the visa that's supposed to be visa free and some are complaining about it i'm coming to kenya but i'm not there yet so i can't say much about it those who are there are talking about it so if that is not right yet and if people are complaining about this identification as a parent as a mother I think I would think twice to let somebody chip my baby that hasn't even walk or crawl or even talk or eat yet. I think I would think twice to let somebody chip my baby, especially something that has never been done anywhere in the world before. If it has, I don't know. Please leave a comment. Let me know if it has been done anywhere. Do you know why when COVID-19 came, a lot of people were hesitating to go for the vaccine? It's because of the chip. Because people were going for it. Some people said they are too posh to hold a passport. So they want that chip in their finger. Everything is in need. So when they get to the airport, they just touch the screen and they pass. Fine, it's their own. But baby... Who doesn't have right to say no or yes to chip a baby i think is something serious and dangerous because you don't know the effect in two five years ten years later so this is what mr william roto is doing to kenyans as as now because he said they have started the experiment two months ago according to news in february which is this month they are rolling it out. I don't know if you have yours already. Are they giving the chip or they are just giving the card? The card is fine, but chipping a whole Kenya, please, my people, think twice. Somebody says that um, it's individual choice. They can choose to do it or not. But then when the time comes and you find it difficult to assess information, don't blame the government. It's a warning ahead of time that they are going to make it compulsory. Just like they did the COVID vaccine compulsory. If you know you will travel, you have to take it. But if you don't want to take it, then you have to know that you can't travel. At the beginning, that was what happened until it went down. So Kenya families, Kenya mothers and fathers, are you going to allow your babies to be cheap? Please let's listen to Mr. Roto and I'll bring the main video why I'm doing this. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate your time. The digital ID, which has been a big problem to us for a very long time, is now on a testing mode for the next two months. I have been assured by all the stakeholders, led by the ministries concerned, that by December, we will be able to launch digital ID, where every Kenyan don't have to carry any paper, plastic or otherwise, as an ID that they should be able to be identified digitally using their iris or their fingerprints, and we can transact without the necessity of people struggling to identify who they are. And yes, you heard that Kenya doesn't need an ID, physical ID, to travel or to do anything. They can just do fingerprint and then everything is done. So they are going to implant them. I hope not, but some people are explaining it what is really happening? Like I said, this lady said it's going to, they are going to put it into babies. So please, this is why I'm sharing this video. Let's listen to this lady, what she said about this particular ID that Mr. Roto is talking about. I think there's something else going on. Because if I shake the hand of this man, and he's going to use our people as an experiment, then Kenyans need to think twice. Once it's done in Kenya, it will be rolled out to the other countries around. <laughs>
the, <laughs> I'm laughing because something just came into my mind, but enough of that. It was announced after a recent series of the closed-door meetings with Kenyan President William Ruto. According to biometric update, Masha number is supposedly expected to address different challenges, such as identifying and authenticating citizens, safeguarding primary registration documents such as birth certificates and national identity cards, and improving the management of the social programs and government operations. The project has been met with skepticism in some parts of the country. Rights groups have also been expressing concern over the possibility of discrimination and the erosion of privacy. But listen, I just told you in a very nice way. Now let me just put it blatantly to you. The program targets the birth of new babies. So once you have your baby, before your baby leaves the hospital, you no longer get a paper birth certificate, but then you get a digital one that is somehow implanted somewhere on somebody's body. Think about that. But have a Thank you so much for listening to this video up to this stage. You can tell the reason why I wanted to share this video with you, my family. Please leave comment. What do you think about this? Because I think babies has nothing to do with this identification thing. Any chip to go to babies is wrong. You know, people have been very suspe uh, suspicious for very long time. People are talking about it. They are experimenting on, I mean, people that are willing to be experimented on. But not babies, because they cannot say anything. So, our fellow Kenyans, what is going on there? Let us know under the comment section. God bless you all. My new subscribers, you are very welcome. Those who are passing by, consider subscribing. I share traveling, African news, and true life stories. Please like the video. That's what will help the video to go far. Thank you so much. I will see you soon. I love you all. Bye-bye. Thank you. God bless you.